Hello and welcome to Cave Story. Now, I've tried recording this intro a couple times now, and every time it seems to have come out you know, a little messed up. So, uh, this will be the fifth or sixth time now I've played this opening little bit, but uh, the rest of the game's pretty much going to be a surprise. Now, as you can tell from Cave Story, this is a story about a cave. We're not at all dealing with this main character here, he's, he's not important. It's the cave that, that just really matters. But right now, I, I have absolutely no weapons. I could be defeated by this uh, little pillow monster if he chases me and kills me. God damn it. Or I could die from spikes. I mean, really, basically anything at this point will just destroy me. One boy, alone in a cave. Unknown reasons why he appeared. He goes now to get a weapon. To fight... Blue things. Now this, this game was released as freeware, I believe, quite a while ago. Supposedly it's all... well not supposedly, it actually is all designed, built, programmed, animated, everything by one person who goes by the nickname Pixel, which makes perfect sense. This guy, this guy, sleeping in a dungeon, S&M chains hanging from the ceiling, no bed, doesn't need it. And now, now things are getting real. So, as we've learned, Kazuma is this guy stuck in this little room, and he apparently is just such a good hacker that he can sign into an instant messaging system and find people in the real world who just refuse to talk to him. These little triangles, they upgrade my weapons, but they don't upgrade me. Once I level up my gun, it's supposed to get considerably more powerful. But, uh, as long as I get hit, that'll never happen, and... God damn it, won't you know it? I'm gonna get hit. Because, you know, that, that's just what I do. Let's save so I don't have to go through this intro again. For the 6th, 7th, 28th time. I, I don't know. This door. This door surprised the hell out of me when I first encountered it. Kept getting hit by things, didn't know by what. Kazuma, once an amazing hacker, now a display of cockroach-eating cowardice. Now, I've, I've made it my life's mission in this game to find this guy a crown. He's basically ruler of no one. He, he rules over five bunnies. Six bunnies. Scars across his face. 
is defeated by the most random things, I think he needs a crown not just to display his power in the station, but because it would honestly protect him from the head trauma that he is going to get. So, apparently, this girl Sue, she's the sister of Kazuma, who, as we saw, looked, you know, vaguely humanoid. But apparently, she's a Mimigo, which is, I guess, a bunny. I, I'm not even sure. Hyper intelligent bunny. So, I, her parents, their parents, must have. They've been through some things. This, this Taroko, the, the little scared bunny, is just a beast of combat. That's, that's the, you know, second time she's beaten King now. First time, I fell from the sky, knocked him out, she was cool. Ran away like nobody's business. This time, still running away, just destroys him. I honestly don't think that she could underestimate King more. In fact, she's probably overestimating him from how much power she puts into her running. One bunny eating rocks in a cave. Okay, second rule of the game that we've learned. Cute girls hunt flying dragons. That's just that's just a thing. It it happens. So we gotta go down to Arthur's house, which is down below me, basically. And because I've done it far too many times right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that part for now because well, there's really nothing down there unless I get that key that apparently Taroko has. Oh, this, this map, it, oh my gosh. So this map is telling me that as long as I continue wandering around, I'm going to be able to get out of this cave. Which apparently this map, for all its map and glory, is just incapable of telling me how to do. And he isn't even sure if this map will work. That's... He's not a good salesman. He's just not a good salesman. I wouldn't buy his map, even if I had no idea where I was. And I don't. And I didn't buy it, it was free. So really, it's just a moot point. So, ignoring possible crossovers from other games, it looks as though right now there's just a large number of psychedelic mushrooms that took over a cemetery, and if that's not reason to worry... No, I, I really didn't. I, I'm going to keep it. It's a fish. You, you bunnies don't even eat fish. See, you don't eat fish. It's not, it's not meant for you. 
I will. I will keep it. I'll keep it even if this lunchbox disagrees with me. This happy, happy lunchbox. He's so large, he doesn't even fit in the icon. I love this music. If I was having an epic fight with a lunchbox, I would definitely play this music. You know, I've never actually said no to this. I... I have to. Holy crap! I... I didn't even know that was a thing! I... What the hell? I, I'm gonna try that on like every boss now. I'm just gonna say I don't want to fight and they're just gonna let me go. I hope. I, yeah, I still don't I still don't get that. I, I hope it gives me some sort of bargaining ability in the future, because then I'll be able to say, you know, I didn't kill your minion when I had the chance. This guy. I think... I think he needs some red flowers. I mean, he's he's been judging them based off of, you know, basically online reviews. That, as far as I know, are completely unfounded. I mean... There's probably things that have eaten red flowers and not died. I'm fairly certain I've eaten a red flower and not died. Of course, I'm not a bug. Oh, I really... I wonder if I'm gonna have to fight that lunchbox again. Because I didn't kill him now. You know what, you take care of that, and while you conveniently leave the cemetery unguarded, I'm gonna go, you know, steal some mushrooms. Can't wait to get some better weapons. I mean, I just, I just imagine just throwing rockets at these guys, grenades, really any overpowered weapon from another game. Even an, an automatic rifle so I don't have to keep clicking this button. I am lazy. Get over it. Yeah, I've... I've never actually been in a situation in a game in which grave robbing was actually bad in any way. I mean, every time I've I've basically been given stuff for free and no one ever was angry at me. Like, I could tell the end boss that like I, I pillaged his family's grave and he'd be like, well, I already hate you, so it just doesn't matter. But, uh, you know, on that sort of note, that's a good place to end this particular video. Let's see how far we get in the next one. <laughs>